Today's episode is sponsored by Spartan Chemical Company. Family owned and operated since 1956, Spartan Chemical is a leading manufacturer of superior and cost-effective specialty chemical products sold through select trusted distributors. At Spartan Chemical, we make clean simple. For more information, please visit spartanchemical.com. On Straight Talk today, I'm pleased to welcome Sandy Hanbury, Coker Janitorial Supplies in Pennsylvania. Sandy, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, your role there, and a little company history? Okay. Well, I am the president and CEO of Coker Janitorial Supply. We're a second-generation woman-owned business. My mother started it almost 50 years ago. And uh, we were just a small wholesaler of natural sponges and chamois. And we just organically grew from there. She brought in other uh, window washing supplies. And from that, she moved into Jan Sand. And about 30 years ago, um, I was a young newlywed. And she asked my husband and I to come move to Pittsburgh to help her out. And it's pretty much the history of how I got involved. Um, She retired. I kind of took over the CE. Oh, well, a lot of um, strategic planning on my part is what I do. Now, I want to talk about your membership with ISSA. We value that. Thank you for that. Since 1979. So I'd love to hear how ISSA has impacted your success. Let's go into that. Well, I definitely think the ISSA has given us the support we needed, um, not just in supplies, but information. I mean, I think the disruptors that have happened in our industry, such as box stores moving into the Jan Sand, and also the pandemic, which was uh, supply chain issues, uh, we got the information and the support we needed from a longstanding organization, and that was something we needed during these times. So um, it's definitely been a great support. I mean, the shows are phenomenal. I know the um, seminars we go to have always been very informative. Uh, we're a family-owned business, uh, which is very common in the Jan Sand. And uh, there have been um, discussions based solely for family businesses. And that's been uh, great information. The one thing I've learned over the years is uh, you can always learn more. And that information is always important to keep relevant. Yeah, and you, and you have to think that being around such a long time, even though there's so many resources now, has helped you to get through the challenges that we face. You talked about the pandemic earlier when we were talking offline. Um, your customers, what did they, how did they feel about you during the pandemic? You didn't have stuff on your shelves. The name brands. I think the CDC was throwing out a lot of name brands and trying to keep our customers informed that there were similar products out there, uh, if not even better products out there. Um, Again, there was a lot of misinformation that was going on during the pandemic. So it was our job to, um, you know, discuss with our customers what they needed to keep themselves safe and also their customers, their clients safe as well. So I think that's still something that's going on. Um, If it's not COVID, it's, something else is coming along. And uh, the CDC's recommendations weren't anything different than, it, in my mind, flu protocol that came out every every year. The ISSA has always enforced the importance of cleanliness, the value of clean. And I think that was something that needs to continue. Even though people are feeling safer, uh, I mean, keeping your area clean isn't always great for attracting uh, good business. People prefer shopping somewhere or, you know, working somewhere that's clean, but also uh, doing it properly so everyone is healthy and safe.
I want to talk about how you're different or unique in the industry because there's a lot of suppliers out there, but your customers keep coming back. What would you say to that? What makes you unique? I would say what makes us unique is our customer service. Um, we supply multiple ways to get in touch with us. You can call us, you can email us. We have a chat box now on, on our B2B website um, and being responsive as soon as possible. But if you need to talk to a person, we're here to talk to you. So, um, you know, the customer experience is incredibly important from start to finish. And every member of our organization is key to that. I mean, from the minute you make a phone call to our delivery drivers. So um, hopefully we make our customers feel important, no matter how small or large they are. I have to think that's extremely important in any business. So it's nice to hear that's what you're doing and it's working. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Would you agree we are in a good industry, a great industry? I mean, I think it is. I, okay. I mean, I, I jokingly tell people I sell toilet paper for yeah. a living, but there's so much more to that. And believe me, if someone runs out of toilet paper, you hear about it almost instantly. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you would be very popular if you're the only one with toilet paper. Yes. And again, during the pandemic, that was a that was a big thing. Um what's but, your favorite um, part of all this? What is my favorite part about it? I think I think you know, satisfying people's needs, answering their questions, um, being a resource for them, being a partner is very important to us. Um, like the, we'll come on site and do training with staff. Um like I said, okay. you know, we used to take phone calls in the middle of the night at some points with guys that were cleaning showrooms. So because it is a nighttime industry. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Can you walk us through your strategies you've used to succeed over the years? 50 years next year. What would you say those were? And I know you're going to say customer service again, which is fine. But anything else you could add? No, you know, I think we organically grew for years. Like I said, we started out with just the natural sponges, the chamois, and then then moved into, um, you know, a Tory and Unger, you know, strip washers and squeegees. And um, as that grew, we then, I, you know, we moved into the Jan Sand end of the business. So we were, you know, had the window washing chemicals and then we just naturally again moved into um, janitorial cleaning supplies chemicals. So for a long time, it was just organic growth. And again, this is the same thing. We were giving our customers what they needed. So, you know, if they ever asked us for anything, we were more than willing to bring it in for them. So um, now, you know, with disruptors that have happened, such as box stores and things like that, we've had to go outside the box a little bit more and um, had to do more, um, you know, we had in-house seminars, mm -hmm. things like that. So again, I think giving people the proper information now with, with the World Wide Web, they're getting bombarded with so much information and it's our job to, to shuffle through that, sit down with them and create a plan for them for their needs. And still always giving the customer what they need. So back, back to that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, without customers, we're not doing too, we won't be doing too much. So Yeah. I think companies often forget that, that it's about how you feel when you walk into any store or hire any company. So it's nice to see you're doing a good job there. Um, let's talk about your people. Your employees, you know, they're the health of a company. I think every company struggles to find good workers, maybe you as well. But how you, how do you find the best workers for Colker? You know what? Um, we try to surround ourselves with, with, with good people. Uh, we've had a lot of employees that have been here almost 30 years. Uh, so, we you know, we treat everyone like family here. We are a family business. Um so any issues they might be having with their family, we always take into consideration uh, first and foremost. And so I think there's a lot of loyalty because of that with their existing employees. Um, I think now everyone's having a hard time finding people. Um, 
So that that has been a challenge lately. But um, I think, you know, we have a lot of our our current employees referring people they know to work for us, which is also good for our reputation. My last question, our exit question is, what's next for your organization that excites you? Right now, I'm very excited. I, you know, discuss the customer experience. We're actually dissecting that kind of um, bringing that down to develop a better customer experience um, from onboarding a new customer, again, all the way to the end of delivery. Because like I said, every person in our organization is important. And I need them to realize that as well, that, you know, it's not just dropping a box off. It's not just taking an order over the phone. It's going above and beyond. And again, that's one of the things that differentiates us from, from our competition. Well, thank you for your time today. Uh, I'll perhaps see you at ISSA Show North America. I hopefully. <laughs> All right. Yes. Thank <laughs> you, Sandy. Great. Thanks. Thanks.